What is happening fam? Welcome back to the channel, super excited. We're here on Fishing with Norby today. I'm Andrew Norby, we're going crappie fishing. This is the first time you're seeing my channel. Please subscribe, we have a lot of fun. We teach you how to fish, uh, teach you how to grow in your faith as well along the way. But we're going out on beautiful Lake Gunnersville today, crappie fishing. Gonna be trying to catch crappie out deep from the boat on jigs, on bluffs, putting some scent on our baits to make them bite hopefully. But you're seeing this video a couple months after I fished. That's, that's how late this one's coming out. If you want to know where the fish are right now, you could have known this two months ago if you would have gone to fishtips.com. I'm starting to upload fish tips. I put a crappie tip out back then and I actually told you how to catch and find these fish. Uh, schooled up by the thousands. So right now, if you go to fishtips.com, you'll see the latest fish tips on bass fishing, crappie fishing, Lake Gunnersville, uh, Smith Lake maybe, surrounding lakes. I'm gonna try to update fish tips weekly and monthly, depending on how these fish change. So many of you ask, uh, reach out, ask what the fish are doing, how can I catch bass, how can I catch crappie right now? Because I know the video posted was a month or two late. Well, now, you have access to that vital information, what's happening on the water right now. I'm gonna keep you updated. That, this is how I'm gonna do it. So, link down below, fishtips.com. Make sure you follow along there. But, we're packing the thump net today, our last outing. I don't know if you can see all those scales in there. Bunch of scales sitting at the bottom, protecting our live well, pulling all our fish out at once, packing the camera gear. We're about to throw the frog togs on because it is cold and we've got our ACC's rigged up. We're gonna be rigging up a double jig rig today. We'll show you that when we get out there. But one other thing before we go, I need to check the current. So we're gonna pull up the deep dive app here and see what it says. Let's check it out. Where's that? There it is. All right, Gunnersville Lake today. As you can see, it's December 31st. Happy New Year's Eve. You're seeing this pretty late, but getting out for about an hour and 45 minutes today in between the twins as they are sleeping. They're pulling 30,000 gallons. That's really good. Hopefully these fish will be biting. You can see the past week, it really spiked. And then the lake level, it's come up some. It's not a foot and a half low anymore. It's just point, almost 0.7 feet low. It gives top baits for bass. Best areas to fish uh, on the lake right now. But what's really cool is this water clarity estimator. We can look it up, see the clarity. The clarity is pretty good all over the lake right now. And the wind effects. So it's blowing southwest, eight miles an hour. Shows me the windy banks. We're gonna try to hide out of the wind today uh, for these crappie. Water inflow points also shows you where water comes into the lake. So that's the deep dive app. It's also linked in the description below. But appreciate you guys watching my channel. Always supporting. You guys rock. God bless you. Let's get out here. Let's go catch some big old slabs. It's going to be fun. Here they come. They are following it. Wow, didn't need it. There he is, number one for the day. Let's go, it's still dark out. <laughs> little guy, little guy, we're not gonna keep him. He's probably a keeper. He's probably nine inches, but he's a little too small. Little too small. There you go, folks. Number one, see ya.
Okay, you can see we're dropping down here on live scope, fishing a little, little brush, little brush they're hanging on. There he is. It is another, another little guy. Gosh, he's a keeper, but I don't want to keep him that small. Just a nine incher. We gotta get the big ones today, folks. We gotta get the big ones. Bait's moving in. <laughs> That's a good sign. Bait moves in, fish get hungry, start feeding, as long as you can get your jig to them where they can see it, you'll be in business. Right here, first light, some of the best crappie fish. Got him, because they can't pick your jig out too well, so you just catch a bunch of them. That's a yellow bass. Not what we're after. Got him. Another one. These are babies. We gotta get on the bigs. They're biting. Oh my gosh. That is the smallest crappie. The smallest crappie. Where those big ones at? There he is. That's a big one. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Just starting to get light. They're gonna eat now. You just put that thump show on. Woo! There we go. Yeah, that's a slab. Woo! That's a grown one right there. What? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, Larry. Yeah, Larry, yeah. That's a guy, man. Yeah, Larry's awesome. Yeah. That's a grown one right there, folks. I don't think we need this anymore. I'm gonna shut our light off here. Look at that one. That's a 14 incher. He's going in the thump net. Going in the thump net. Alright. Let's fill it up. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you, Lord just starting to get light and they want to bite that's awesome Woo. all right make sure my camera's clear here that'll work big one. oh big and shouldn't have both with that one There he is. We figured out what they want. They want it jigged. They want it jigged. Oh, it's a bass. We got a little spotted bass. That spotted bass wanted it jigged. I thought we figured a little something out. Try again.
There he is. That's a big one. That's what I'm talking about, folks. Gosh. Oh, whoo. Oh, big. Oh, big slab. Let's go. That's a 15 incher all day. The mouth on that thing. So big. Bucket. Whoo. <laughs> all right. Just a giant. Let's go. There he is. Yep. Another one. Come on. Oh, it's a yellow. <laughs> I got excited on that one. He felt good. He felt real good. Whew. <laughs> okay, guys, it is cold, but we've caught a few good ones. We're going to move around here, see if we can find more of them hitting because they're loaded up under this bridge and all around it, chasing bait. The bait's moving, the crop are moving every day. They're staged somewhere a little different, it seems. So, let's see if we can find some more giants. We have two megas in the boat right now. I'm just talking big old slabs, big old slabs. Let's get them. Got him. Big him. Big him. Oh, yeah. There we go, folks. Big old crappie. Oh, that's what I'm talking about right there. All right. Single jig. We broke off the double rig, unfortunately. But threw the single one down there. Smoked it. Let's get back down. Got him. Yep. Another one on the single. Oh, it's a big one, too. All right. Biter. Flip. Another one, folks. Old big one. All right. Let's go. Oh, in the thumb net. Got him. Oh, yeah. Now that's a good one, I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, ho, ho. Woo. Oh, man. He broke me off. <laughs> Get excited, folks. That's how they eat it. Dump gel, swallow it. Gosh. I got to retie. I should not have boat flipped that fish. That's a giant. That is a giant. That's cool. Thank you, Lord. Old tub right there. Boom. Little tubby. 
old tubby. Whew. Burr, that's cold. Wow. Freezing. Wintertime crappie. Wintertime crappie. All right, you guys always ask me what scent I use. This is Thump Gel. You guys can get 10% off their website using my code Thump23. Thump23. Thumpgel.com. Stuff is awesome. So we're dropping a single jig down 15 feet, slow sinking it, and they are wanting that lightweight. We're throwing a 16th ounce, but sinking it that far is super lightweight. No split shot or nothing. Got him. Another one. We are smoking them, folks. Just smoking them. Boom. Another nice one. All right. You guys would have been able to figure this out if you had gone to fishtips.com about two months ago. December 31st. That's today. I think my chest camera cut out so cold. Smoking them. Got him. There we go. Another one. Loading up. Loading up on them. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Real good one. Whoo! <laughs> oh, fires me up. Fires me up. Got it. Another one. Man, that one looked like a big one. That one looked like a big one. What do we have? If that's a crappie. Oh my gosh. That one's a giant. That's a giant. Yeah. <laughs> big old white slab. Look how he ate that thing. You see that, guys? Way down his throat. Like two inches down his throat. That's how big this crappie is. We caught some giants today. Whew. <laughs> Let's Crazy thing is, I gotta leave and go feed the babies with my wife here in about five minutes. Oh, gotta leave them biting. Gotta leave them biting. Whew. So fun though. Out here, beautiful Lake Gunnersville. Freezing cold day, catching slabs. <laughs> and it on that right there getting snagged getting snagged that's a good way to end it that's a good way to end it you know what we're gonna call it that was awesome 
Okay, we are just getting back in the shop, just getting thawed out, putting on my nice cozy shoes. Seriously, these are my favorite shoes. I haven't really told you, but they're, I call them loafers. They're frog togs, super comfortable, super lightweight. I, I wear them 24 seven now, fishing inside, everywhere. I have a dirty pair and a clean pair now. But what I was wearing out fishing today were these right here. These are amazing. They are deck grinder boots, the new ones Frog Togs came out with. Super comfy soles. It's like wearing your favorite pair of tennis shoes, only more supportive, more comfy, the best deck boots on the market. And they have a non-slip grip, non-scuffing sole, which a lot of them don't have. So go check those out, Frog Togs. You guys can get 20% off with my code AN20. We are also wearing my favorite fishing gloves by Frog Togs. Amazing. AN20. And you know we were wearing my favorite suit by Frog Togs today fishing. It was cold. So we were bundled up. It was a Frog Togs day. So not trying to just sell them to you guys, but they do support me. So I would appreciate it if you supported them as well. And get a little discount while you're at it. But that was a blast. We're about to flay those crappie up here real quick. So nice getting thawed out back in the shop. My shop's heated here. We got a little AC slash heater on the wall right there. A little mini split. You guys are always asking me about the fan. A guy named Tom made that for me out of Kentucky. Super blessed to have that. And yeah, nice to just be in the warmth. We fished for an hour and a half today. That was it. Amazing. So that was awesome. Let's play these fish up. Gonna show you how I flay crappie. You've seen it before probably. This is uh, just any old electric flay knife, American Angler is what this one is. I love the Bubba blade, but I don't have it. I, I've used it a few times, but this one's out handy. Bubba blade's amazing as well. So, I'm gonna take crappie out, I'll show you the quickest way to flay it without having to debone it after. So, nice size one there. That's a little one for today, a 12 incher caught some real big ones. So you go right behind the gill, just like that, down the back, close you can get to the spine, cut right through the rib cage, just like that, flop the flay over, then you go around the ribs, one more. Around the ribs. Then, you cut off the meat, the ribs are already deboned, and you have your flay. Put it in the bucket there. So that is the easiest way to flay a crappie right there. And probably the quickest. Just like that. Go around the ribs, cut the meat off. Boom, look at that. Ribs done, flay done, boom, you're ready to eat. There you have it folks. Fun day crappie fishing, God is good to us. Man, go check out everything we did today. Hope you enjoyed the video. I love making these for you. Let me know if you have any ideas or videos you want me to make down in the comments. I respond to all comments. So I read them all, respond to them all. Appreciate all of you guys always helping with the comments. Hit that thumbs up button. Share this video. Helps it do better on YouTube. God bless you. We'll keep these videos coming out. We'll catch you on the next one here at Fishing with Norby. And we're going to leave you with a verse for today. Jeremiah 29 11, for I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper, not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. And then it goes on to say, those of you who seek me with your whole heart will find me. So seek him out today, seek the Lord. I shared this verse in a video not that long ago, but it's what came to my mind. It's a really important one, and it's one that I need for myself. Every day, we gotta seek the Father out. He is where our guidance and our counsel comes from, and that is what we need, that's what I need. 
catch you on the next video here at Fishing with Norby.